unusual train whistle? Look over there. I think I see some lights that weren't there before. That's the north of us! Maybe the train will take us to the upper the continent. tracks don't go anywhere. Maybe they're doing construction. Not none! <sighs> Not him! Yes, me! If the conductor is here, then the train must be up in the running! But, like, how can he be in so many places? Who's kept touring the other trains? I'm everywhere my passengers need me. The nitty-gritty technical details are a trade secret. Hush! Nice <gasps> try! Yeah. Are you... So, uh, Mr. The Conductor, sir? Is the train running? Does it go to the upper of the continent? Of course it does. Go on then, all aboard. But first, your tickets, please. Ugh. My dance moves just don't have that certain something anymore. What is it that I'm missing? Oh! You're Mirage Keepers, aren't you? Your timing is perfect! I've heard that some Mirages out there are real lookers. If you find any Mirages like that, could you show them to me? I need some new inspiration. You will? Oh, thank you so much! I just know this is going to be a huge help to me. She's gotta be graceful, and cute, and on second thought, never mind. Any female Mirage should do the trick. Oh, she's so graceful and cute! That's it! Now I know exactly what it is I've been missing! And it's all thanks to you. Oh, you're the greatest! This is for you. No need to be shy. Oh, uh, well, see you around. Please? Go on then, all aboard. We would like to take a moment now to kindly remind all our passengers to remain in their seats facing forward. Please fasten your seatbelts at this time. Seatbelts on a train? What are they for? Three, two, lift off! world's transportation have to be so... Wow! Huh? Whoa! W what? Wow!
Aloha! And a warm welcome to the Empyrium. Oh, I am now loving this weather. It makes me just want to laugh out loud. <laughs> I have no idea how to react to that, so I'm just gonna ignore you. Now, what do you say we head for that town over there? Aloha, and welcome to Grimoire's Tropical Empyrium. Our beautiful beaches. If an enemy slows you in battle, you won't be able to take action as often. Haste magic will fix you lickety-split, but if you don't have that, you can still recover by using a gold hourglass. Here, this one's for you. What do we got here to hear? Why, it's every da thing I needed! I'm giddy glad I asked you for help. As I promised, here's your rewardy dordy. Looking forward to working with you again again. Hey, 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 so there you are. Things may be dire around these here parts, but I've still got a jobity job for you. This thing a ding is rare and not easily foundy found, but one of my custom customers tells me they'll pay any pricey price for it. I'm a bit preoccupied now, so... I can see that I'm an excellent handy hands. I... Okay, 
We've got a temple in the deep to find. Why don't we start by asking around? The sunken temple? Oh yeah, everyone around here has heard about it. But since no one's ever been there, who can say if it actually exists? The sunken... Did it work? I hear shouting those words turns you into an expert diver. Aloha. Sightseeing, are we? Well, welcome to the Port of Bassay. It's not the biggest town in the world, but it is nice and laid back. You two are gonna love it here. Just kick back and relax. People say that someone really, really scary lives right here in town. But I've never met anyone like that. Hey, I wouldn't go that way if I were you. Why not? Well, uh, that's an excellent question. But I'm afraid I've already said too much. isn't enough. If only I had... Wait, you wouldn't happen to be mirage keepers, would you? I'm looking for some fish scales. You wouldn't happen to have any you can spare, would you? <sighs> Thanks a bunch. Now I'm finally confident enough to give her my letter. Hmm? What do I need them for? Well, I'm going to use them to decorate my proposal letter. It's kind of a family tradition. We believe that when you ask someone to marry you, giving them fish scales will ensure they say yes. Don't laugh. I get it. I know that fish scales aren't exactly the first thing that comes to mind when people think about romance. But if you ever really looked at them, they're one of the most beautiful things out there. Anyway, you really helped me out. Here, this is for you. Sunken temple, huh? Boy, wouldn't it be something if it were real? I don't know who'd actually want to live there, though. People say that. Is it true that there's a big house at the bottom of the ocean? What's that? You'd like to know more about the Sunken Temple? Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid there just isn't much I can tell you. I've met all sorts of visitors here during my lifetime, but you're the first to ever ask me about the Sunken Temple right off the bat. Well, it sounds like everyone's heard about the temple we're after. Thing is, none of these people have actually been there. What'd you expect? It's the Temple in the Deep. You think people would call it that if it was swimmable? From the look of it, the train probably doesn't stop there either. Huh? Pan... to Logist. Always here to assist? Wow! A person that studies the pants? They think of the everything! Yeah, pants must be serious business. It's Pantologist, dummy. The prefix is pan. Cookware, huh? Neat. Not those pans. As in all. Like, they do a little of everything. Oh. Well, if they do a little of everything, then... Maybe they can do a little of helping us get down to that sunken temple. Let's hit the pants! W wait Lon! Ah, 
That looks like the place. The test will surely end in success. <laughs> oh. Was I a quart of ingredients short? Service, please! <laughs> Lon, ever heard of manners? Who goes there? Oh my. I rarely cross paths with a giant pair. So tell me. Are you the Pan Mighty person from the ad? Yes. That's the gist. How can I assist? The Sunken Temple? Yes. I don't know. Maybe you could give us a magic spell. You know, something that lets us breathe underwater. Maybe some magic pants? Breathe underwater? Whether it's gills or spells you want, a solution can be met, but... The sea is its own kind of hell. You're almost certain to regret. The currents will leave you blind. And it's so big you'll be bored out of your mind. Th that's discouraging. Well, hang on. We can handle a little certain regret. Uh, yeah. If you know a solution, then we'd really appreciate it if you could help us out. So come on, please. Hmm. Well, if you're quite certain that that is your desire, perhaps you're just what I require. Excuse me? Excellent! We'll start with the dunce. You see, you can't do two total losers at once. can no longer breathe air. No. Why not? Oh, come now, darling, use your head. You wanted to swim like the fishes, you said. But a fish out of water is soon to be dead. Are you some kind of murderer? Oh, my. After I do you a favor, this is how you choose to run. My dear, don't make me angry. Apologizing? What? But I... She... Uh, please forgive me? No!
voices. Oh, you've decided to awake. Well, off you go with these two flakes. You got it! and we're actually breathing. I hope you like it, because we can't breathe anywhere else. Don't you worry. I've been to the sunken temple a bunch of times. But, just a minute. Does this mean we can't return to Ninewood Hills? Oh, you can still go the back there. Hey, I didn't know you could breathe underwater too. That confusing me with your average mortal. I'm special. Okay, but then why didn't you just go to the temple for us? What? Are you the crazy? Every the inch between us and that key is crawling with the mirage of mirages. I mean, a barrage of mirages. If you sit me in there alone, I'd get annihilated. Sorry. So, did you mean it when you said that we could go back to Ninewood Hills? Well, that place isn't just immune to the time. It can dispel the magic and other mystical manipulations. So, that means you can go back to Ninewood Hills without the choking to death. Thank goodness. Although, I guess that means we won't be able to travel anywhere else, huh? Eh, let's just finish our dunk to the Sunken Temple and... Wait, if we find the key, will we change back? Oh, don't worry. Dr. Shantoto gave me the antidote to the curse. <sighs> what a relief. I thought we'd end up stuck like this. Wait, did you say curse? Dude! Cha. Yeah. I mean, curses are the doc's specialty. Uh, first, we've heard of that. Well, as long as she's planning on fixing us up... Sorta. You see, the doc said... Tell those twin losers the antidote costs, so bring me a Quacho Ruby, or they can get lost. So good luck. I'm not crossing her. She said all that? Twin losers? What? Where does she get off calling me a loser? Lon is the loser here! You're mad about the name calling? Question for you. What exactly is a Quacho Ruby? Oh, good point. What is a Quacho? A Quacho? Oh, there's some right over there. Their queen cries red tears, which are called Quacho Rubies. Now I see. But those sound like they must be just about impossible to get. True enough. They say she only sheds one tear every decade. The Rubies go for at least a hundred million gil. A hundred mil?! Uh, I swear, that is the last time I ever consult a pantologist. Hey, uh, Titus, how come you can breathe underwater? Well, if you've tossed enough blitz balls around... Eh? What? Hmm... Eh, I'll tell you about it some other time.
Okay, I'll be waiting back at the surface. Good luck finding that Quacho Ruby. Yep, got it covered. Hey, just don't forget why we originally came here. You know, if we found enough of them, we could all be filthy stinking the rich. Oh, I like your style, Tama. Hear that? We're gonna find a Quacho zillion rubies. I'll say it again. Don't forget why we're here. Let's just find the key, get the ruby we need, and trade for the antidote. Rubies, rubies, baby, I wanna be a quacho zillionaire. <laughs> 